every season, there's one thing you can always count on is how the CHL top 10 rankings will rile up certain fan bases. And we have our first top 10 of the season as they've released their preseason ranking, which uh, has contributions from NHL Central Scouting. They look at all 60 teams in the Canadian Hockey League from the Quebec Major Jun Maritime Junior Hockey League, the OHL, and the Western Hockey League, and figure out how they stand out against one another. And for the first CHL Top 10 ranking of this season, the Medicine Hat Tigers, they lead the way. They have six NHL prospects on their team, and they're looked as the favorite to maybe win the Western Hockey League. We'll have to wait and see how the season plays out. Plus, they have WHL Rookie of the Year Gavin McKenna on their roster so it's a very strong team going into the 2024-25 whl season and for nhl central scouting they feel this could be the top team in the canadian hockey league but time will tell on that front but it is great to see four ohl teams represented on the chl top 10 the brampton steelheads they lead the way they're second best according to nhl central scouting and the chl top 10 of course, the Brampton Steelheads uh, with the likes of Porter Martone and now Carson Rakoff. You've got Jack Ivan Kovic in net. This is a very deep team and a lot of expectations coming into this season as the Steelheads prepare for their first year in the city of Brampton. Now, also making the cut from the OHL, the London Knights, their third. They're looking to be the first back-to-back -back OHL champion since they last did it in the uh, early 2010s. So the London Knights... Another favorite in the West and being recognized on the CHL Top 10. Uh, at number eight, we have the Oshawa Generals. And in ninth, the Brantford Bulldogs. So three of the four OHL teams come from the Eastern Conference. So it just goes to show that uh, there's some high expectations with teams in the East. And we'll see as the season goes along how this Top 10 ranking will change. You can take it with a grain of salt because it doesn't mean anything on the regular season. It's kind of like the power rankings that you see on the internet. I'll also be doing a power rankings myself on this channel. It doesn't mean much, but it is fun as a fan just to see how teams are doing on a week-to-week -week basis. And that's kind of how the CHL Top 10 goes about uh, with uh, some input from NHL Central Scouting. Now, a pretty fun uh, news item came out uh, late yesterday. The Barry Colts, they have unveiled their 30th anniversary jerseys. They're pretty sharp, although when I first saw it, I kind of wondered, uh, are they you know, taking a page from the Buffalo Sabres with the blue and yellow? I know that uh, a lot of jerseys in hockey, they have the shoulder yokes, and blue is a very common color, and we're seeing a lot more yellow. But it is, even though it may kind of remind me of the Buffalo Sabres, it is a pretty nice jersey, and it's a nice touch within the yellow uh, stripe that you have the Shamrocks because the Barry Colts every year, it's been a tradition that they wear special St. Patrick's Day jerseys. Although the Shamrock on the collar really stands out when you see that green because you don't typically see green in a jersey of the Barry Colts unless it's for St. Patrick's Day. So I do like these jerseys. I do think they're, uh, they're pretty sharp. Uh, I'm just waiting for when the Barry Colts will have a red alternate jersey, uh, just like how the horse and the Colts logo wears. Because if he's wearing a red jersey, why don't the Barry Colts give it a shot? I think it was the first season that the Barry Colts were in the Ontario Hockey League. They had a third jersey that was red, but didn't last long because coaching staff and players are pretty superstitious. And when you're not winning in a particular jersey, they kind of like to put that aside. But uh, still, uh, it is pretty great to see these 30th anniversary jerseys. Uh, the 25th anniversary jerseys, they were blue with uh, a silver uh, tinge to it as well. Uh, but I do like uh, this approach for this season. The first look at this jersey will be the home opener against the North Bay Battalion. And, of course, that's on September 28th. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see these jerseys in person because the pictures, uh, these jerseys do look pretty sharp. Now, we do have a couple of trades to talk about. And, yes, the Niagara Ice Dogs involved in one of those trades. So we'll talk about that move first. They have acquired Joey Wasslin from the Guelph Storm for a 13th round pick in 2025. Now, Wasslin, he is the brother of Brady Wasslin, who was selected third overall in the OHL priority selection for 2024. Uh, Joey Wasslin, he's a defenseman. He has not yet appeared in an OHL game uh, for Wasslin last season. He, he played with the North York Rangers in the OJHL. 49 games to his credit, three goals, two assists, five points. So we'll have to wait and see, does uh, Joey Wasslin make this Niagara Ice Dogs lineup? I kind of wonder if he'll be the depth defenseman that might not play every night. 
We might even see him go back down to the OJHL to play with North York and then get a call up whenever there's injuries. But it is really cool when you can see brothers able to suit up for the same team. And we might get that a couple times this season uh, with Brady and Joey Wasselin. But when you do look at the Niagara Ice Dogs depth on defense, it has improved uh, over last season a bit. Uh, they brought in Jack Browdy, of course, from the Barry Colts. Noah Van Vliet brought in from the Sudbury Wolves, along with Matthew Virgilio. Uh, he was picked up from the Sioux Greyhounds during the offseason. So there's three defensemen right there uh, who they picked up, along with Blair Scott. He was picked up in that trade from uh, the Barry Colts. So a lot of turnover on this blue line, but they do have some talented defensemen. Uh, so we'll see if Joey Wasslin uh, is able to appear in a few games this season, make his OHL debut, and uh, all the best uh, to Wasslin. Now, in the other trade, uh, it was the Peterborough Peets trading Braden Valeris to the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds. Uh, Valeris, of course, a defenseman. He was signed as a free agent at the start of last season by the Peterborough Peets. He only appeared in 32 games for Peterborough, one assist to his credit. Valeris, though, a pretty big defenseman. He stands six foot two, 205 pounds. So we'll see if he has a, a chance to make the lineup for Sault Ste. Marie. It's kind of a change of scenery and giving him another opportunity to play on another team. And uh, for Sault Ste. Marie, not having to give up much uh, to pick up the defenseman. Of course, it's a 20, uh, 28 15th round pick. So uh, we'll see uh, how Valeris is able to uh, you know fit in with the Sioux Greyhounds team who uh, uh, Sean Bednard of the Erie Otters play-by-play -play voice, who I did the uh, preview video for the Western Conference yesterday. He's kind of wondering if Sault Ste. Marie is uh, a bit of a dark horse to win the West Division. And when you look at their lineup, they do have some pretty good uh, talented defensemen there. As uh, It's going to be fascinating to see what happens uh, with Sault Ste. Marie, but they're just adding some depth. You need to have that depth in case of injuries and uh, then your playoff push. Because you have to figure there will be injuries over the course of the season. So that's where Valeris will likely get a shot uh, to play uh, with the Sioux Greyhounds at some point this season. So that's how I see it from the booth. And uh, yeah, tomorrow night, doing our first broadcast on Rogers TV. It's the final uh, home preseason game for the Barry Colts. They take on the Brampton Steelheads, and it will be on Rogers TV and on uh, CHL TV. So you're able to tune into that game. Uh, I believe it's going to be a free game that they're streaming on CHL TV, but uh, still, we're almost at the regular season. A few more moves, a new jersey to look forward to, and of course, the CHL Top 10 ranking. Always uh, stirring up some debate when it comes to junior hockey fans across the Canadian Hockey League. So let me know in the comments section down below your thoughts on any of these news items. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Talk to you again soon.